in the innovation field, smart materials and new technologies are transforming relations between people and materials environment. Requiring a new approach to the consumer lifestyle system and needs, they also add new variables on design practice. In the last decade, textiles have been set on the surface of the smart context, with application in different areas as biomedical, military, communication, fashion, Textile materials have been developed through diverse functional and expression purposes. The color change materials are a class of smart materials that through an input energy change their molecular structure affecting their optical properties. So, as color change. The human chromatic perception is possible through the incident light on objects, which just can reflect their own color and absorb all the other colors of the light spectrum. A similar process happens when light flows through an object, intervening in the light intensity according to the color's absorption. In the thermochromic phenomena, the color change effect arises from a stimulus induced by heat. The commonly thermochromic materials applied to textiles are the variation temperature pigments or dye stuff. They work in order to the predefined temperature variation. Over it, they turn clear or colorless, and under, they have the pre-established color. It is also possible to mix this material with conventional pigments. The study object on this paper is the thermochromic behavior. However, the focus is not color change per se, but interaction with light intensity. According to the optical properties, Dark colors absorb a larger fraction of the light spectrum than lighter colors. Can thermochromic textiles filters absorb different amounts of light if they are under or over their temperature variation and thus might have an influence on the ambient light? How much can be the difference? How to combine and print with different pigments? Five thermochromic textile samples were screen printed to analyze the phenomena. A light box, a lux meter and a dryer have been used for the light intensity measurement. In a dark room with an ambience temperature below 27 degrees, lux meter was set 1 meter from the light box in the first measurement cycle and half a meter in the second. For each sample, the light intensity was registered under and over 27 degrees in three different points. According with the light measurements results shown on the tables, it is possible to conclude the color of the samples changes the light intensity that passes through them. The light intensity is higher when the temperature is over 27 degrees. For each sample, the percentual difference of light transmission among temperature under and over 27 degrees is similar for measurements than at 1 meter and half a meter distance. The B and C samples use the same color pigments with different screen printing processes, but the light intensity change is different. In B, there is a change around 84%. In C, the change is around 63%. It is possible to conclude that the printing process has an influence in the light intensity absorption. Comparing B and C, it was concluded that getting a similar color and light transmitters when the color change pigment is over temperature variation and using the same color pigments, making a mixed solution or screen print the two pigments in two layers, interfering the difference of light intensity variation. Technology progress and concepts reformulation are in the basis of development and maturation of innovative products and design innovation. This research, based in the material theory and practice, proposed to study the thermochromic behaviors through the dynamic light filters concept.
Placing a textile in front of a light source, light intensity absorption depends on textile structure characteristics, finishings and color. Focusing on thermochromic behavior and comparing light intensities that went through the samples and then the bulb of their temperature variation, 27 degrees, they had been achieved the maximum of flux change of 96% with this sample and the minimum of 55% with E. But this it also depends on textile substract and dyeing characteristics. Thus would be possible to create a customized environment from a filter seemingly the same. This way, it will be possible to design environments with a specific luminosity that just will be known by the user with the experience itself. This process allows the designer to achieve enormous variable of solutions, fitting out the best for each user. The information achieved about how different thermochromic textile structures affect static light underline a framework for the future development of smart textiles design with dynamic light filters performance.